bonjour les amis, c'est vendredi. Vendredi, j'ai été prendre une grande marche ce matin avec Penny et Adèle. Il fait tellement beau. L'été arrive bientôt. Oui. Et les amis, aujourd'hui, c'est la fin de la semaine. Quelle belle journée. Est-ce que tu es prêt pour mon histoire? Oh! Wow! J'ai une histoire assez comique ce matin. Oui. Connais-tu ce livre? Excusez-moi. Ce livre a été écrit par Daniel My Myrus. C'est pas difficile à prononcer. Oh! Tu es prêt? Hmm. Excusez-moi. Les images sont incroyables. Regarde. Oh! Tu vois, il y a un oiseau sur une petite île. Hein? Tu vois ça? Avec des herbes. Ça ressemble à l'île du Prince-Édouard. Parfois, il y a des petites îles de sable comme ça. Hmm? Regarde. Hmm. Est-ce que tu vois un ombrage? Il y a comme une espèce d'ombrage d'oiseau qui s'en vient. Il n'y a pas beaucoup de mots dans mon livre. Est-ce que c'est grave? Non, parce que tu peux utiliser ton imagination pour comprendre l'histoire. Excusez-moi, je n'ai pas le choix, on dirait. Regarde, l'oiseau vient s'installer sur la petite île minuscule de l'autre oiseau. <rire> Il prend beaucoup de place. Elle n'est pas grande, cette petite île. C'est juste un, un petit monticule, tout petit, tout petit. Mais pas assez grand pour ce gros oiseau. Ouh! <rire> Regarde, l'oiseau, l'autre oiseau et une grenouille qui s'en vient. Il y a souvent des grenouilles dans mon histoire. <rire> hmm. Excusez-moi, il y a déjà assez de monde ici, vous ne trouvez pas? <rire> Regarde, il est arrivé lui aussi. Puis le petit oiseau, c'est ce qu'il dit. Hey, tu trouves pas qu'il y a assez de monde sur ma petite île? Ouh. Oh oh, regardez tes amis. Qu'est-ce que tu en penses? Notre petit oiseau qui se fait tout écrabouiller par le grand signe. Puis une grenouille et regarde qui s'en vient. Une tortue! Penses-tu qu'il va y avoir de la place pour la tortue? Ah oh oui, sûrement! La tortue dit « Excusez-moi, le marais tout entier est déjà là. Pourquoi pas vous? » dit le petit oiseau jaune. Regarde! <rire> Mais oui, venez-vous-en, il y a de la place! Hein? Regarde! L'oiseau a même un poisson dans son bec. C'est ce qu'il mange. Ces oiseaux-là mangent des poissons. C'est comme ça. C'est leur nourriture. Oh, 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 regarde. Qui est là? Un renard? Hum, je pense pas qu'un renard va aller sur la petite, petite, petite île ici de ses quatre amis. Le petit oiseau jaune. Notre grand... Oh, cinq avec le poisson, la grenouille et la tortue. Hmm. Monsieur le renard. Excusez-moi, mais vous êtes assis sur... Le renard leur crie. Excusez-moi, mais vous êtes assis sur... Trois petits points. Ils sont assis sur quoi? Ils sont tous assis sur la petite île, non? Hmm. Eh bien, excusez-moi, mais c'est mon perchoir et je me moque de ce que vous avez à dire. Maintenant, laissez-moi tranquille! C'est ce qu'il dit. Et il crie à tout le monde, allez-vous-en! C'est ma petite île à moi. C'est moi qui l'ai trouvée en premier. Allez-vous-en! Tout le monde s'enfuit. Tout le monde saute. Oh! Il doit être content maintenant, toute seule sur sa petite île. Mm -hmm. Voilà, tout le monde est parti. Qu'est-ce que tu en penses? Oh. 
Hein? Tout le monde est parti, sauf lui. Regarde, il reste là toute seule. Maintenant, il va être content. Il va être heureux d'être toute seule sur sa petite île à lui qu'il a trouvée lui-même. Je pense pas, moi. Regarde. Hmm. Ça l'a l'air tout calme. Hein? Parfois, à l'île du prince Edward, il y a des ciels de cette couleur-là, avec du rose et du violet dedans. Hmm. Oh oh. Il est sur sa petite île, mais tu vois, sa petite île a des yeux. Oh, oh là là! Qu'est-ce que tu en penses? Oh oh! Regarde! Il regarde derrière lui, la petite île sort tranquillement de l'eau. Oh non! Tu sais ce que ça mange des alligators? Des oiseaux, des poissons. Ah, si je mets ma main dans sa bouche, il mange ma main aussi. Mm -hmm. C'est très, très, très dangereux, les alligators. Qu'est-ce que tu penses? As-tu une idée de ce qui va se passer? Mm -hmm. Regarde. Ah, où est l'oiseau? L'alligator dit burp. Il a fait un roux. Burp. Quand on fait un roux, c'est parce qu'on a mangé quelque chose. Oh! Qu'est-ce qu'il a mangé? Mm -hmm. Je pense qu'il a mangé notre ami. Mm -hmm. Comment s'appelle le livre? Excusez-moi. Eh oui. Burp. Qu'est-ce qu'il dit, notre ami? Eh bien, il dit, excusez-moi. <rire> il avait faim. Toi, tu manges des céréales le matin, des toasts, euh, des bananes, des petits fruits, du yogourt, du fromage, un café. Mais les alligators mangent toutes sortes de petites choses. Mm -hmm. Excusez-moi. Voilà, tout ce qui reste de notre petit ami, c'est une petite plume qui flotte dans l'eau. Il voulait être toute seule sur sa petite île, mais il ne savait pas vraiment qu'est-ce que c'était cette petite île-là. Hein? Il faut toujours faire attention où on met les pieds. Les amis, c'est juste une histoire un peu rigolote ce matin. Qu'est-ce que tu vas faire aujourd'hui? Aller jouer dehors? Oh, il fait tellement beau. Ils annoncent 8 degrés. T'oublies pas de demander à maman et papa pour sortir. T'oublies pas de laver tes mains. Hmm. Frotte, frotte, frotte. Pas juste faire un C'est fini. Non, c'est important. C'est important. Les amis, je t'embrasse. Je te souhaite un bon vendredi, une bonne fin de semaine. Et on se voit lundi. Profite du soleil cette fin de semaine, mais à la maison. D'accord? Allez, au revoir. Hi everyone, my name is Roseanne Goche and I'm the Youth Services Librarian for the PEA Public Library Service and I'm excited to be here today to share with you the story I'll Wait Mr. Panda and this book is written and illustrated by Steve Anthony and it's read with permission today from Scholastic Canada. So I'll Wait Mr. Panda. I wonder what this book is going to be about. On the front cover, we see a little penguin and we see a panda bear and he looks like he's getting ready to do something. I wonder if we can guess what it is. He's got a spoon and a bowl. He's wearing an apron and a fancy white hat. I wonder what he could be doing. I wonder who's going to be doing the waiting. Let's see if we can find out. So when we open this book up, the first thing we see is all these sprinkles on the inside. Hmm. 
Or maybe they're confetti? It's hard to tell. I hope they're sprinkles. I really like sprinkles. I'll wait, Mr. Panda. And there goes Mr. Panda. And here comes the little penguin right behind him. Here we go. What are you making, Mr. Panda? And Mr. Panda says, wait and see. It's a surprise. Oh, so we know Mr. Panda is making something, but we don't know what it is yet. The llama says, nope, I will not wait. Goodbye. Well, it's true, waiting is not easy. And the little penguin says, I'll wait, Mr. Panda. <gasps> Here comes another animal. Have you noticed that all the animals in this book are black and white? Our llama was black and white. Mr. Panda is black and white. The penguin is black and white. And now this guy, this is an anteater, and he's black and white too. And he says, are you making cookies, Mr. Panda? Well, that would make sense. Mr. Panda does look like maybe he's getting ready to bake something. But Mr. Panda says, wait and see. It's a surprise. And there's Mr. Panda. And is the anteater going to wait? The anteater says, nope. Waiting is too hard. Goodbye. But the penguin says, I'll wait, Mr. Panda. going to come next. Look at these bunnies. Oh my goodness. Let's see how many bunnies there are here. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Eight bunnies. And the bunny says, are you making cupcakes, Mr. Panda? Mr. Panda says, wait and see. It's a surprise. Oh, I wonder if it's going to be cupcakes. Cupcakes, I would wait. Do you think the bunnies are going to wait? <gasps> nope! I'm done waiting. There they go, all back into their little holes. But the penguin says, I'll wait, Mr. Panda. Oh, and look, all the bunnies, they're saying goodbye, 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 goodbye. And the penguin is still waiting. It's a very patient penguin. Oh, here comes another animal. This looks like a crane. And the crane says, Is it ready yet, Mr. Panda? Mr. Panda says, Nope. Wait here. Do you think the crane is going to wait? Oh, I don't like waiting. Goodbye. Guess not. There he goes. But here's the little penguin and he says, I'll wait, Mr. Panda. It's a very patient penguin. All the other animals left. Oh, Mr. Panda, I think Mr. Panda noticed that the penguin is waiting. He says, I'm waiting, Mr. Panda. I wonder what Mr. Panda made. Do you have a guess? What would you make if you could make something? I think I'd go for the cupcakes myself. <gasps> oh my goodness, Mr. Panda says, surprise! What did he make? This is a giant donut. This donut is the size of the panda. That's the biggest donut I've ever seen in my life. And the penguin says, oh! <gasps> Yeah, yeah, I think it was too. Look at all those sprinkles. Oh, yeah. And Mr. Panda says, I know. Oh my goodness, the donut is so big that the little penguin is almost squashed underneath it. And he says, thank you, Mr. Panda. I can't wait to eat it all. Oh my goodness. Do you think that that penguin is going to be able to eat that whole donut? I don't know. Let's find out. Oh. <gasps> 
here's the back cover of the book and it looks like he's, he's working on it. He's working pretty hard. He's leaving a little trail of sprinkles behind him. Now we know they're sprinkles and not confetti. And that's the end. Hi friends, it's Jennifer at the Confederation Center Public Library and I have another story to share with you. This book is called Where Are You From? and it's by Shamile San Mendez and it's illustrated by Jamie Kim and this is published by Harper Collins. Where are you from? they ask. Is your mom from here? Is your dad from there? they ask. I'm from here, from today. Same as everyone else, I say. No, where are you really from, they insist. I ask Abuelo because he knows everything. And like me, he looks like he doesn't belong. Where am I from? Abuelo thinks, his eyes squint like he's looking inside his heart for an answer. You come from the Pampas. The open free land, he says. Beautiful place. You're from the gaucho, brave and strong. From the brown river that cleanses and feeds the land that gives us the grain for our bread, the milk from the cows. You're from the mountains so high they tickle Senor Cielo's belly, where the condor roosts his family and the jaguar prowl prowls at night. But you're also from the warm blue oceans the copper warriors tried to tame, and the elegant palm trees stretch their fingers to caress. So beautiful. You're from the hurricanes and dark storms, and a tiny singing frog that calls the island people home when the sun goes to sleep. Little frog right over here. From this land where our ancestors built a home for all, even then, when they were in chains because of the color of their skin. You're from the grandmothers who search for their grandchildren, waiting, always waiting in a plaza, their white handkerchiefs wrapping the sorrow of their thoughts. You come from the sunshine that lights our path in this world and the rain that washes away our mistakes. But Abuelo, I ask, where am I really from? Abuelo laughs, you want a place? He points to his heart. You're from here, from my love and the love of all those before us. From those who dreamed of you because of a song sung under the Southern Cross or the words, the words in books written under the light of the North Star. You, you are from all of us. Oh, I am. The end. Hello friends, welcome back to the library. It's Jennifer here at the Confederation Center Public Library and I have another story to share with you. Today we're reading a very silly book called Is That Wise Pig? by Jan Thomas. And this book is published by Beach Lane Books, which is part of Simer, Simon and Schuster. All right, who wants to help me make soup? I do. Here's one onion. Okay, well here are two, one, two cabbages. And what's pig gonna bring? Here are three, one, two, three umbrellas. Three umbrellas. In the soup? Is that wise pig? What do you think? Oh, hmm, I guess not. Now here are one, two, three, four tomatoes. And here are one, two, three, four, five potatoes. And here are, hmm, what's pig gonna bring this time? One, two, three, four, five, six galoshes. Six galoshes in the soup. Is that wise pig? Hmm, should we add galoshes to soup? Oh. I guess not. Now here are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven green beans, yum. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight Brussels sprouts. And here are, hmm, 
What is Pete gonna bring this time? Nine <gasps> carrots. Oh, yes, that's pretty wise, huh? And mm, what's next? I asked 10 hungry friends to join us. Look at all those hungry friends running. Was that wise pig? That's a lot of mouths to feed. Uh-oh, better use these. The boots and the umbrellas. The umbrellas and galoshes were pretty wise, pig. Thanks, cow. Look at those piggies make a great big mess. There's just one thing missing. Really? What's that, pig? Me! Hmm. Pizza? Pizza. The end. Hello everyone, bonjour, my name is Peter, and welcome back to Language for Vu. I'm just wearing today my Stone Park Tiger shirt for Stone Park Intermediate School, go Tigers! Um, today we are going to be doing a lot of work with science. Science usually means we're going to do an experiment, so we are going to do two experiments, and if you want, get your parents to help you. Science is great because it's a good way to discover new things. And we get to play with things and better understand how they work. But first off, we are going to go outside with our friend Ms. Sarah. Her and her boys have made an obstacle course, and they're going to show you how you can make an obstacle course too. Okay, so let's get ready to go outside and see what Sarah and her boys are up to. Hi, Hi everyone, my name is Sarah and I'm the admin assistant for the EAL FAL team. It's a beautiful day outside and we hope everyone is staying safe, but we're getting kind of bored. So we're going to do an activity that you can do at home too. I needed some helpers, so these are my kids. Hi, my name is Abel and this is my brother Cohen. We go to Donner Ranger School and I'm in grade 5 and, this, and Abel's in grade 1. Go, go Dragons! Dragons! So, today for you, we're going to make a chalk obstacle course on our driveway.
We sure had lots of fun. We hope you guys have fun making your own obstacle course too. Stay safe, have fun, and, and wash, wash your hands. School supplies, furnitures scolaires, a pencil, un crayon, an eraser, un gong, a crayon, un crayon de couleur. A notebook, un cahier. Colored pencils, crayon de couleur. Markers, marquez. Highlighters, souligneuse. A pen, un stylo. Tape, ruban adhe adhesive. A stapler, un agrafus. Scissors, les ciseaux. A calculator, un calculatrice. A ruler, un règle. For balloon rocket races. You need some tape, string, straws, and balloons. Then you need to tie the strings to chairs or to sticks. I put some paper rockets on my straws. Which one is the fastest? Which is the slowest? Hmm, it looks like it is the green one that is the slowest. That means the blue one is the fastest. Which one is the fastest? Which one is the slowest? The green one is the fastest. The blue is the slowest. Which is the fastest? Which is the slowest? The blue one is the fastest and the green is the slowest. The blue is the winner! Yay! Supplies needed. Paper towel, markers, and two small dishes of water. We used the colors of the rainbow for our experiment. We used red, orange, yellow, green, blue, indigo, or dark blue, and violet, or purple. Pull off one piece of paper towel and fold it in half the long way. Color the end of the paper towel, going in order of the rainbow. Red, then orange, then yellow, green, blue, indigo, and finally, violet. When you are finished of one end, turn your paper towel and color the other end. Make sure you go in the same order. Once both ends are colored, carefully place each end in a dish of water. Don't put it in too far or your experiment will get too wet. Watch what happens! Now it's your turn. Try it out. Short E sounds. Ten. Leg. Neck. Check. Smell. Pet. Pen. Egg. Smell. Ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Egg. Pen. Check. Neck. Leg. Hi, my name is Nathan Gregory and I'm six. My name is Cameron Gregory and I'm six. We, we are, are twins. twins. 
Okay, boys, I have a special challenge for you today. We're gonna have to go and get some blue toys and some red toys, but make sure you get more blue toys than red toys. Go! Okay, Cameron, can you tell me how many blue toys you found? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, three. Nathan, how many red toys did you find? One, two. So do we have more blue toys than red toys? Yes. Good job. Okay, boys. Our next challenge is to get some yellow toys and some green toys. But I want you to get less green toys than yellow toys. Go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six yellows. One, and green. One, two, three, four. So which color has more toys? Um, yellow. And which yellow. color has less toys? Less, uh, green. Great job. Have you made a pop geyser? You need a bottle of diet pop. And some hard candy in a cylinder with a stopper. Can the pop go high? Oh, yes, the pop can go high. Can the pop go higher than a person? Can it go higher than a fence? It's higher than a person. It's higher than a fence. Wow, so cool. Hi boys and girls, my name is Jessica and I will be doing a science experiment with you guys today. I saw someone do this a couple days ago and I have been so excited to try it. So today is my first time. I hope it works um, and I hope you guys try it with me. You guys might have most of this stuff at home. All you need is a mason jar that's just over half filled with water, an empty glass. one tablespoon, some cooking oil, and these. So these are food coloring. Um, I love playing with these, but they can stain your clothes or your skin. So they'll stay on and it's hard to wash off. So be careful. So first we're gonna get the plain glass. We'll move these out of the way a little bit. the tablespoon and the oil. So we're gonna pour four tablespoons in here. So help me count. One, two, three, four. go. Now we're going to take the food coloring. I'm probably going to drop about four drops each in here, but you guys can decide what you want to do. I'm going to use all the colors, but if you just want to use your favorite colors, you can go ahead. One, two, three, four. Four. Here we go. So I don't know if you guys can see this or not, but they are not mixing in together at all. So we're going to mix it. I'm gonna see how this goes. Mix it. And look, still the food coloring has not mixed in with the water. So now we're going to 
take this, pour the oil in here. I'll try to do that up close so you guys can see. How cool is that? The oil is not mixing with the water. There we go. I'll show you here. And I'm going to put this here so you can see the Oh, do you see the color coming? The blue. How cool is that? So the food coloring has dropped into the water and is now mixing with the water. <sighs> oh my goodness! It's so pretty! Wow. How cool is that? And so easy to do at home. And that's fireworks in a jar. Wow. All right, well, thanks for joining me and I hope you guys try it at home too. I can't get over how pretty it is. <laughs> Look. All right, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna stare at this a little bit more. So I hope you guys have a great day, bye. It's time for Pets of PEI. And today we're going to meet Josie. Josie is a greyhound and she's four years old. Her favorite snack is dog food and she likes running, racing, and sleeping. Josie used to race at a track, but she retired when she was three years old. Her owner says Josie is super fast, and I've seen her run, she is super fast. We want to see your pets. So please send pictures of your pets to us here at language for at gmail.com. Remember to include your pet's name, how old they are, their favorite snack, what they like to do, and why you like your pet. We look forward to seeing all the great pets of Prince Edward Island. Thank you. Hi, welcome to Drawing the Sounds. Today we're drawing shush fish. So this is shush fish. And to draw shush fish, you will need a pencil, an eraser, a pencil sharpener, a black marker or a black pencil crayon to outline with at the end, and some color markers or some color pencils to color with. First, we have to draw a big circle for the fish's body. Next, the fish has two eyes. One big circle and another big circle and inside the eyes another circle and one more circle the fish has frowning eyebrows 
make a straight line like this and one more line and another eyebrow a straight line and another line The fish has a big round cheek. Make a big circle under the eye. The fish has a round mouth. Make a small circle next to the cheek. And one more small curving line. The fish has a loud horn. Make a long curving line and another long curving line. The end of the horn is a circle. Make a long, thin circle. The fish has fins. Make a curving line on the top of the fish. Remember, if I am drawing too quickly, you can pause the video and catch up. The fish has a small fin on the side. Make a curving line like this. And the fish has a big fin on its tail. Make a curving line like this and one more like this. The fish has one more fin holding the horn. Make a curving line like this. The fish has some lines on its fins, like this, and on its side fin, and on its tail fin. And the fish has some scales on its body. Make a curving line like this. The fish is making noise with its horn. Make a zigzag line like this to show the noise. Now the words fish and shush have the sh sound. Do you know what letters make the sh sound? Yes, that's right. It's S H. Oh fish, I wish you'd shush. Can you say that? Oh fish, I wish you'd shush. Here are some words with the sh sound. Fish, wish, shush. Shush has two sh sounds. Sh, sh, shush. Shell and show. So here is shush fish in color. I colored him blue for his body, pink for his fins, and yellow and orange for his horn. Thanks for coming today. Thank you, Mr. Sheehan. Shh, fish, shh. I know, some fish, when they play the trumpet, they can be very loud. My brother and sister both played the trumpet, and they were loud. And I would tell them, shh, stop playing. I'm trying to play a game. Stop playing your trumpet. And they'd be like, we have to practice. Anyway, 
Mr. Sheehan, thank you so much for helping us draw a fish. I know, they're not that easy to draw. But we would like to see your drawings, so please send them to us at languageforvu at gmail.com. Now, that is our show for today. So I want to thank Ms. Sarah and Ms. Jessica for their science experiments and the obstacle course too. That was fun. And we'll see you next time here on Language for Vu. So remember, stay safe, be kind, and do your best. Okay, bye for now. Au revoir, and see you next time.